Are you ready for the Hunger Games? Are you ready for the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2? At least this review? Are you ready for me to stop talking in this annoying voice? Well, now is the time for me to stop talking like an idiot. Okay, I'm still going to be like an idiot. Now, I am readily letting you all know that I have not read any of the books. I am just purely a movie fan. Now, I know there's a lot of people that absolutely love the books. The source material has gotten great reviews. It is some of the best, like, tween fiction, if you want to call it that, uh, going today. And I actually really enjoyed the films. Um, they are very, very dark. The Continuing Adventures of Katniss Everdeen. Um, it's basically Running Man, um, but for kids. Uh, if you haven't seen any of the Hunger Games movies, first, why are you watching my review? Hey, what's up with that? Second, they're, they're basically set, what is it, 75 years or so into the future. Um, they're, the, the nation is basically split into 12, or 14 districts. And, um, once a year, they're randomly drawing two children to fight, to basically feed that district. Um, it's a very incredibly dark premise. Uh, this film takes place basically immediately after Mockingjay Part 1. Um, Pita has been brainwashed by the evil capital and came within moments of choking the life out of Katniss. Um, now, he didn't do this because he's a bad guy and he wants to turn on Katniss. He did this because he has been tortured, he has been brainwashed relentlessly to believe that Katniss is evil and that Katniss is just the, the embodiment of horrible, horrible, horrible things. So, this film, it, it's trying to... It's trying to end this epic epicness that is the Hunger Games franchise um, and tie up a lot of loose ends. I, like I said, I'm not admitting that I am like the number one fan of Hunger Games. I don't know all the lore. I'm just going as uh, a movie fan who buys a ticket and just, hey, I want to kill two, two and a half hours of my life uh, in a good way. Um, you know... What I'm looking for is is the plot engaging. Do I believe these characters? Do I want these characters to reach their end goal? Absolutely. I think it's really, really well done for the most part. Um, there, there's some really cool scenes. Did it? Is it predictable in a sense where I what I want to happen happens? What I what I would most want to happen happen? Yeah, absolutely. Are there some things that made me? go, wow, I can't believe they took this turn. Yeah, for sure. It's pretty sweet. Like, there's this scene with these characters called Mutts. Like, it's this... For the most part, this movie is a very, 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 very dark version of The Running Man, which is awesome. You need to check out that movie. And with But with tweens, you know, teenagers. And it's a love story gone awry. Um, and she's torn between these two guys, Gail... And Pita. Pita wants to murder her. Gail wants to be with her forever. What should she do? But then they randomly, like, they, they show this, like, it's kind of like they're mixing Edge of Tomorrow into it in a sense. Like, they have these, they, ha they have to go across, you know, uh, these planes that have complete, like, uh, treach there's complete treachery. Um, they have these, you know, drones that can find them at any moment and kill them. Uh, you don't know who you can really trust. And then you have these landmines that are just basically like every five feet. You don't know where they're at. Um, but there's this scene where they're going underground in the sewer. And they have these characters that they call the mutts. And they're basically like zombies. Like walkers on Walking Dead. Like, they're completely, like... It's a very, very scary, tense scene. I love horror. And, like, I was like, holy crap. I was not expecting these characters in this film. 
it totally it, it went it, they were an intensified uh, part of the movie because you know the movie is more of a slower paced you know drama and they add this scene in there and it was just unexpected and appreciated it was like a really cool moment I can't believe that it's in there but it's in there and that's what she said but it, it's it got some mixed reviews. It made buku dollars. It made like $560 million in like a week. So that's amazing. Uh, the budget's 240 <laughs> It's like, holy crap. But, uh, you know, I, I, I liked the movie. I think the I think the relationships that they, they had were fleshed out. And um, is that a little formulaic here and there? Yeah, but that's kind of what you want. You want it to be a... You want it to be the cookie-cutter romance at certain moments, that's for sure. Uh, it's directed by Francis Lawrence, who did amazing films like Constantine, I Am Legend, and the cool thing is he did all of the Hunger Games films uh, after uh, starting with Catching Fire. So he's he's going back to, you know, this guy is doing back to back to back to back. He didn't do the first one, but... I give him a lot of props for sticking with it, and so his vision is fully realized. Um, not sure the whole reason why I didn't do the first one, but whatever. Uh, I, I like the movie. I think it's done well. It looks good. There's a scene with, like, the black sludge. I think that could have looked a little bit better, but what do I know? I don't know if it's sludge, oil, whatever. Um, but I like, the, I like the artistry that they use, where they have... Um, simple colors and then bright, vibrant colors mixed in with it. You know, a lot of characters will wear the same uh, color scheme and it just it meshes really well. So let me know what you guys think. I enjoyed the film. Let me know what you think of the trilogy or, well, trilogy of books, but four films. Let me know what you guys think of the movies. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite one is. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel at London Hawthorne. Check out my other movie reviews. I have hundreds and hundreds on here. Thank you all for watching. Sorry my dog's barking. And uh, if you could click on any ads or commercials embedded in the videos, it helps me pay for the movie tickets so I can see these movies. Have a good day.